Hey Internet, welcome to Thermodynamics Tutorial 4-31. We have a 0.5 meter cube rigid tank containing refrigerant 134A, initially at 160 kPa and at 40% quality. Heat is transferred from the refrigerant until the pressure reaches 700 kPa. Find the mass of the refrigerant in the tank and the amount of heat transferred. Also draw your PV diagram with respect to saturation lines. Step one, draw your free body diagram, your FBD. You get a point for drawing a picture related to the question. Step two, we start off with the energy balance equation. So energy in minus energy out is equal to energy of the system. So from here, we've got heat in is equal to the change in internal energy. So with this in mind, this will be our equation for part B. Next, step three, you wanna find the specific volume of fluid, gas and internal energy of fluid and the UFG, which is the vaporization energy. So you can find this table at the back of your textbook if you bought the PDF, you can use your search function and you can type in table A-12. So VF is the specific volume of fluid, which is 0 0.000735 meters cubed per kilogram. And the specific volume of gas is 0 0.12355 meters cubed per kilogram. The internal energy of fluid is 31.06 kilojoules per kilogram. And the vaporization energy, the UFG, which is the difference between the gas and fluid, is 190.31 kilojoules per kilogram. So that is found on table A-12. Step 4. Find your initial specific volume. So V initial is equal to V1, which is equal to VF plus your quality multiplied by your difference in fluid and gas. So VFG is equal to VG minus VF. So you can just plug in these values that you've got from your table A-12 from step three. Your quality 0 0.4 is your 40%, which is given in your question. So your initial specific volume is 0 0.04987 meters cubed per kilogram. Step five, you wanna find your initial internal energy so that is U internal, which is equal to U1, which is equal to UF plus the quality multiplied by UFG. All right. Once again, these values are found from your table A-12 in step three. And quality is given in the question, plug and play, and you'll get 107.19 kilojoules per kilogram. Step six, find the final internal energy. Normally, you would go to your table and look it up. However, in this instance, it goes beyond the table. So what you need to do is you use your EES, your engineering equation solver. So you plug in your initial values of 700 kPa and your specific volume of 0 0.04987 meters cubed per kilogram. Set in those variables and then EES will give you a value of 377.23 kilojoules per kilogram and that is your internal final energy. Step seven, which is part A, find the mass of the refrigerant. So M is your mass, which is equal to the actual volume divided by your specific volume. 
So 0 0.5 meters cubed is given in your question and divided by 0 0.04987 meters cubed per kilogram. So your specific volume is found in step four over here. So that gives you a mass of 10.03 kilograms, which is the mass of the refrigerant, which is part A. Now part B, step eight, find the heat transfer. So QN is equal to the mass multiplied by the difference in internal energy specific. So your mass is what you just found in step seven, which is 10.03 kilograms. Your final internal energy is what you found in EES, which is in step six over here. And your initial internal energy, 107.19, is what you found on table A-12, which is step three, right over, apologies, step five, which is over here. But you use the values from step three to calculate step five. Okay, so with that, you plug in those values and you will get 2,708 kilojoules. That is the heat transfer, and that is part B. Step nine, draw your PV diagram. So that is your pressure versus volume diagram. So this is your saturation curve. So your initial state, you start off from your saturated mixture, and then it becomes superheated in your final state. All right, disclaimers, the method is correct. However, I do make calculation mistakes. I encourage you to solve it yourself and see if you get the same answer. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a great day. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell, turn on all notifications, leave a comment below if this was helpful. Until next time, see ya.